Sarah and Donna brought us here together to acknowledge that we've all played some special part in the love that they shared today. Sarah and Donna wanted me to thank you all for being here and recognize how important each and every one of you uh, was to them individually as well as them as a couple. Many of us have traveled for long distances. Some of us are still traveling. <laughs> Uh, some from Michigan, we have people from Florida, we have people from Tennessee, jolly all. <laughs> Sweden, we have here today, Italy, they come. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, New Jersey. Although, depending upon the bridges and the traffic, sometimes it might take them longer to get here from New Jersey than from Europe. <laughs> By all means, have a seat. On a more serious note, may we also not forget some of the people who are no longer with us, but were very special to Don and Sarah, as well as us in the audience. Here with us in spirit, William Cinderella, Mary Ellen and Andrew DeMasi, Drew DeMasi, Marie and Phil Citarella, Tony Pasquarella, and Rita and Andre Fournier. For those of you who are here sitting here, you may already know, but Sarah and Don's love story began six years ago. Like so many modern couples these days, they met online. They realized that there was something special. Their first date, was at Washington Square Park. They talked, and they talked, and they talked. I had my own ideas while you were there for all that time, but <laughs> They realized they had much in common. For instance, their love of Italy, their love of red wine. So their love of impromptu nature walks on the North Fork of Long Island, just looking for me. And Smoking a good cigar now and then. Uh, yeah. Okay. They also realized that the families came from towns very close to each other in Italy. Sarah's family from Molise, Moliciano, the Provincia di Campobasso. Don's family from a little town called Sarna in <clears throat> the Campania region, excuse me, just south of Naples. In fact, they were so close. I think it was Sarah's grandpa that said, they might even be related. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah and Don have been inseparable ever since. Okay? Um, and I've got to know them uh, over the last six years quite well. So I am thrilled that you guys have asked me to officiate on a date such as today. It's well known that a very stressful time in a man's life is when he has to ask his girlfriend's father permission to marry his daughter. In Don's case, it was a little different. His first hurdle was getting permission from his twin brother, Mike. <laughs> After that, Sarah's father was easy. <laughs> well, now that we know everyone has given their permission, Let's get on with the ceremony. Sarah and Don, the vows that you are about to make are a way to share your love and commitment to each other in your own words. Sarah and Don have created their own vows to declare their promise to one another. Also, Sarah and Don are going to wind up facing the group here because in its intimate type setting, I thought it would be slightly relaxed so that we can share, obviously, the vows that they've prepared for one another. And after long deliberation, Sarah has decided that she is going to go first with her vows. <laughs> you are genuinely like no one I have ever met before. You're kind-hearted, hard-working, dedicated, witty, creative, and truly original. You always do the right thing, like finding the owners of the countless lost wallets and credit cards you come across. <laughs> you have the ability to make every day count as fun. Even on my worst days, you can make me feel better with a laugh. You 
usually by telling a bad dad joke or a pun. <laughs> Your adventurous nature genu gen gently encourages me out of my comfort zone without pushing too hard. If it wasn't for you, I would have never tried the and silk, which I love. You finally got me to visit Italy, which turned out to be a life-changing trip. You even got me to try karaoke, which I still don't like. But nonetheless, I love that you're always up for trying something new. <laughs> Over our six years together, we recognize how similar we are. We hold the same values, views on family, importance of keeping traditions, and making our own. We simply understand each other. We face challenges like losing loved ones or experience hard times with friends and family, but we always remain supportive of each other. Our relationship started on a solid foundation and continues to strengthen. I'm grateful beyond words to have you as my true partner and equal. Most importantly, you've taught me to trust my partner, and it's okay to do so. Two years ago, you asked me to trust you to spend our lives together. Today, I promise to continue to trust you for the rest of my life. I promise to sustain that open communication has been so vital since the day we met. I promise to treat you with respect as you have always shown me. I promise to grow with you as love is ever evolving, but constant. I told you before that I feel that I've lived past lives but didn't think you were a part of any of them. I felt until, until this lifetime to encounter my soulmate, and I recognize how lucky I am to have finally found you. I proudly and wholeheartedly promise to love you eternally in this life and any that follow after. Well done. Don Cigarello.
most importantly, I will care for you, believe in you, fight for you, support you, and love you until my very last day. Sarah and Don, we will now exchange rings to symbolize your commitment. <laughs> Rings are derived from humble beginnings of imperfect metal to create something striking where there was once nothing at all. The wearing the rings is a visible outward sign that they have committed themselves to one another. Don, if you would go ahead and please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow and for all the days to come. For today and tomorrow and all of the days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. And know that, and know that my love is present even when I am not. And know that my love is present even when I am not. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow, and for all the days to come. For today and tomorrow, and all the days to come. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. Wear it as a sign of what we have promised on this day. I know that my love is present. Don and Sarah, you have... Don and Sarah, you have professed your love by exchanging your vows. You have symbolized your commitment by exchanging rings. There's just one more question. Of you to answer, and then we're off to you know, celebrate yeah. at the reception. Sarah, do you take Don to be your husband to live together in covenant of marriage? I do. And Don, do you take Sarah to be your wife to live together in the covenant? Of I do. Very well. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and. If everybody's done crying, maybe you want to kiss each other. <laughs>